Okay, we are back for part two on um, the wavy wristers. Okay, so we stopped at one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yes, we changed six. I'm so sorry, but I got into Justin and I keep it. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back into that same stitch as this chain six. Actually, no. I'm sorry. We're not. Okay. Yeah. We're going to skip. We're going to go into the next V right here. And we're going to do a double crochet like before. Okay. Oh, I'm getting these mixed up here. I need a better better place to do this stuff with. Okay. Okay. Now, chain one, go back into that same stitch, do a double crochet, chain one. Okay, so for this round, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go all the way around, skipping a stitch, go into the next V stitch. Double, we're going to put two double crochets into that same stitch, and then we're going to chain one, and so on. So, go into the next V stitch, double crochet, chain one, go back into that same stitch, chain one, and this is what it's going to look like. So, basically, your thumb is going to go through this part right here. Okay, telling you. Okay, next V stitch, chain one, go into the same V stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, go into the next V stitch, double crochet chain one, same stitch, double crochet, and chain one. And if, for some of you that don't know how to, or is having a hard time following, you can actually, on YouTube, I think it gives you the, um, I think you can go on there and slow the video down, I believe. And that's, uh, that's pretty cool though, because I've done that plenty of times to where I'm like, how did they, wait, how did they, they did what? So I had to slow the video down almost all the way before I could even, you know, before I could even do the, finish the tutorial. Chain one. If you know how to, if you know how to crochet and you know all your steps, like your um, half double crochet, double crochet, single crochet, you can basically do anything. You don't even have to worry about how fast a person is going as long as they actually tell you how to do it and what to do. You know, you just follow along with them. So, all right, so we're into our last um, stitch. It's kind of hard to show you guys because this thing is in my way. Okay, so we have this stitch and this one. So we're going to go into the middle one. This is our last V stitch that we got to go through. Chain one. Go back into that stitch. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tricky because we are going to make two two double crochets in this this uh, six stitches of what, the chain that we made the six stitches on so this is where the thumb is going to be and you don't want it to look like that because it's going to look really ugly so just follow me and go in to this this chain right here where the six stitches are and we're gonna make a double crochet. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, because I forgot I did that on my other one, 
go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go into this one right here not right there sorry this one we're not going to do the double crochet yet we're going to slip stitch into this one so go ahead and slip stitch and I'll show you what to do next on that one so basically we're just going into the the where we made the six stitches for the thumb and all we're doing is slip stitching just like that okay now what we want to do is we're going to chain four one two three and four and we're going to go into the thumb space and we're going to do two double crochets two sets of double crochet so we're going to do one okay because that counts as two right here <clears throat> actually uh, telling you that is wrong I have no idea what I'm even doing anymore I get so confused on my own stuff so all right double crochet okay yeah so we're gonna do a double crochet another double crochet okay all right and then we're gonna go in again in that same thumb space and do another double crochet chain one go back into the same spot same space and do it again so this is what it looks like okay all right now what we're gonna do is for round one two three four this is round five we are going to I'm trying to figure out I cannot remember my steps at all okay um, pretty much the same we're gonna do the same round for um, round three or round four except for the thumb space so we're going to skip this one and we're gonna go into the, to the next V stitch so you can follow along with me chain one go back into the same stitch just like that okay skip a stitch go into the next V stitch double crochet chain one okay skip a stitch double crochet chain one go back into the same stitch and then chain one. And I think oh, I'm gonna put my feet somewhere here. I'm really, really tired. Okay. All right. So let's continue on down here. Chain one. Double crochet. Skip a stitch. Chain one, go back into the same spot, chain one, skip a stitch. That's basically what we're doing for this round. Again, is the same for round five as we did for round four, except, um, except don't do the thumb space. Okay. So we're going to skip to our last, this is our last one for round five. Okay. All right. So when you come down here to the thumb spot right here, okay, uh, as you can tell, um, We are going to go in to 
like this one which is the second one and we're going to make a slip slip stitch so let's go into the second one so you have your first and your second go into the second one and do a slip stitch okay now this is what it's going to look like okay and I'm going to show you guys a quick preview of it okay so you got to turn it around since it's uh well do it right silly do it right all right it's kind of hard to get on at first but we can do it we can do it And as you can tell, this is what it looks like so far. Now, depending on the width of your wrist, because I'm not sure different people have different size of wrists, but um, I have a small wrist. Um, if you have like um, a bigger wrist, um, a different size of wrist, then you can actually do more chains. Like this one we started off on a size 24. You can actually do more chains so if um, you have like a, a thicker wrist to probably about right here maybe you can um, chain um, 30 and it should fit exactly right but oops as you can tell here's our thumb space right here that we did okay and um, if you want to go um, more down to probably about right here then just I'll show you guys how to do that <sighs> okay let's go ahead and finish this okay so we're gonna chain um, actually no nope, we're not gonna chain I forgot we're gonna pick up colors pick up your next color which is black all right and we're gonna do a slip stitch go back into that same chain and do another slip stitch just like this. It's pretty easy. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Go back into the same stitch, which is right here, and do a double crochet. And make sure that you chain one, of course. My desk is a mess. I mean, a huge mess. It's a hot mess. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and do for a round. Uh, okay. So on round one, two, three, on round four, we did pink. And round five, I did pink again because um, I decided I, I wanted two colors of the same for, for that round. You don't have to do that. Um, but if you want to stick to black, pink, black, pink, black, then just continue to do that, um, pattern. But for me, I did the pink and the pink and I'm doing back on the black. So, so we're going to skip, um, this stitch and we're going to go in to the next stitch. Round, um chain one, go back into the same stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, chain one, go back into the same stitch, and chain one. So that is um, basically all you're doing for this round. So it's one, two, three, four, five, this is round six. Let's go ahead and continue with round six. And as you can tell, we're gonna skip it like we did on the all the other ones. Oh, there goes my tote. So yeah, that's um this is all you pretty much do um for this round is I told you like it's a pretty easy pattern to do. It's it's easy. It's nothing to it. Um, the only thing that you pretty much have to change is round four and round five you just do the um four double crochets which is two each into the thumb space like we did and the rest of the rounds is pretty much this um 
you're just skipping a stitch then you're going into the next stitch and doing one double crochet chain one go back into that same stitch and make another double crochet and then chain one and so on so we're going to follow it all the way down chain one and we're almost at the end here my mom's getting ready to come in here I'll be back okay and our last stitch is chain one then go into the same stitch and do another double crochet so and then we're going to go into this first one okay remember I said that there is six stitches you don't want to go through the stitches you just want to go through that that hole right there and you want to pull through and then pull through again and that slip stitching so but as you can tell this is what it looks like and I think this is just cool because I like how it goes from black, pink, black, pink, pink, black because that's personally what I like. I don't like doing like, you know, black, pink, black, pink. I want to change it up some. But I'm into 16 minutes and for rounds um, 7 through, if you want the long, if you want the long um, wristers, like say they're going to start from here and then they're going to go all the way down to about right here. Then you want to continue from round 7 to 17. And uh, I'll say Why? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 7 to 17. And you'll get the, the long one. If you don't want the long one and you just want it to be half like this, like the wristers, because basically that's what they're called, they're wristers. And, but people make them longer, I guess, for the winter to stay warm. But personally, I don't like stuff that goes all the way up my elbow, and this is what I like. So if you're done and you want to continue this um, right here, then what you want to do is you want to switch your colors because you're only going to do one more, which you just pick up the pink slip stitch and then go back through that same spot, that same um, stitch. Oops. And you're gonna slip stitch again. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. Go into the same stitch again and do a double crochet. Okay, chain one. Skip a stitch. Always remember to don't go into the next stitch um, to the hook. You skip that one and then go into the next one. Then you do an, another double crochet, chain one, same stitch. My yarn's getting tangled up here. And I'll also show you how to, when you cut the yarn, you don't have to 